Ah, there we go. Another. Let's see how many matches? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Another long wrestling card for you. Oh! Hello, folks. Welcome back. From the one. I'm the only. I am Hobo Tom. And you know what today is? Today is Thursday. That means it's the one day. Look at that beautiful looking beer can. Yes. A beer can. A blonde haired bimbo. And a gas mask. Big boobas. Living in a trailer with a pink flamingo. That's my kind of beer. So you know what? It's Thursday. It's a beer night. Hit my music. I've been searching for a man all across Japan. Just to find two battles and a rap. Wait a second. That's not my music. Oh, well, close enough. But hello again, folks. Then. Welcome from the one, the only Hobo Tom. And I'm here to talk a little bit about AEW Dynasty. Yes, I am still going to put up clickbait pictures of bimbos with samurai swords. Mainly because I need the views. And I'll tell you what, I have a lot of thank yous to give out. I haven't even checked my most recent video. I made it. <laughs> if it hasn't been removed yet for all the stuff I put on it. Let me go check something very quickly. I'll get into this video's topic. My predictions. My actually best guesses of what's going to happen at AEW um, Dynasty. Yeah, so let me check this up very quickly. Go into my YouTube studio. See how many bands I got. No, I'm not blocked at least yet no one's watched it though so we'll see oh sorry doing it change this so go to video analytics details oh man best picture of me is the one with my freaking hat holding the gun oh well i'll figure that out later but i'm here i have some thank you to about from the previous Wrestlemania and all the fishing videos. Uh, my eyesight's going, I my contacts in, so I hate to do this, but yes. I have to look scholarly. Let's see here. Oh, I forgot him. That's easy. The f oh, no, that was the match. <laughs> Let's see here. Easy E, 9075. Thank you, sir. You, sir, definitely know all about that. Ass. Because you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass. The D's nuts, ten ten. Sir, you always win by dirty pin. I did not hit her. But you know what? You got the six count and you won twice. Chop kick. Here's our chilling out with your briefcase boombox. David Wilson, you are a master of the air guitar and air drums.
And finally, last but not least, actually, let's go to show some comments here. Maybe it came out better. Mainly because I can't read my own handwriting, even with my freaking reading glasses on. Let's see, it should be this baton. Oh, yeah. Jazz feline. You can crawl out of here. So that's good. Oh, well, thank you again. Thank you so much for commenting, even though they are kind of negative. You know what? I cannot afford a unidirectional microphone. Yeah, that's not happening. And clickbait, any bait is good clickbait. So I can have a sip of beer now. Beer time. Let's get into some predictions. I did these at work because work was way too slow. I have no idea where they're going to start. They're so random the way to do things. Let's just start off with what I know. And this could change tomorrow. Don't bug me about it. I have eight matches. That's what CBS Sports said. That's what I'll go with. So we have Adam Copeland, Eddie Kingston, and Mark Briscoe versus the House of Black. I don't, I don't know. Adam Copeland seems like he needs a win. Eddie Kingston's a good guy. He's a brisk. He's one of them boys. So, yeah, so I have Adam Copeland, Eddie Kingston, and Mark Briscoe winning. House of Black just don't win. Uh, Julia Hart versus Willow Nightingale. This is where I'd probably start going crazy. And probably have way too many championships changing hands. But, yeah. Julia Hart's going to lose to Willow Nightingale. She is a part of the House of Black. So yeah, Willow Nightingale's going to do that. She's going to start a feud with Chris Statlander. That should be fun. In. Or even um, Monet. Whatever her first name is. Sasha Banks. Whatever. I saw her once. Sasha Banks once. She was okay. She was kind of condescending. She just had a bubble butt. But yep. And then for, I forget which belt. Oh, is this the, um, so this is the international champion, I believe. Roderick Strong versus Kyle O'Reilly. Oh, uh, this should be good. I think Kyle O'Reilly's going to win. Roderick Strong's going to get booted out of his faction. He's the whiny one. Yep, Kyle O'Reilly becomes a new international champion. For the Continental Classic Champion, your champion Kazuchika Okada versus the Bastard Pack. Pack's coming back. And I have Pack winning. I have so many titles changing hands. I think this is one of those pay per views where it's either going to be an all or nothing thing. So Pack wins. He was on the shelf for a while. He deserves a belt. Uh, Tony Storm versus Thunder Rosa. La Mera Mera. Yo soy la Mera Mera. Y soy la Mera Mera. I'll see her. Kind of torn on this one. Because I am a Thunder Rosa fan. Thunder Rosa deserves her belt back. And that would set up a good feud. Because that way Tony Storm could go into further depravity. And like, kind of absolutely lose it and go into the way Neville acted when Neville lost his cruiserweight belt to Enzo Amore. That was great. They could have done so much with that. But oh well. So yeah, Tony Storm versus Thunder Rosa. Thunder Rosa is going to win. Um, do I really have a match of the night? I'm not watching this because I have to work. And I think I get back at like 9:15. Have breakfast, hobo. Yeah. And this pay-per-view goes on forever. Plus, I have to work the next day, so. It's on too late. And stays on way too late. 
hunt and starts too early and, and goes way too late. So I will not be watching this, so yeah, whatever. Uh, the Young Bucks, the Bucks of Youth, take on FTR. FTR is finally going to win. Especially after that horrific presentation they did about CM Punk and blamed FTR. FTR got involved somehow. I don't know. Like, all that proof is like, yeah, what CM Punk said was right. Yep, Phil Brooks was not lying. And then we have the right hand of destruction. Samoa Joe versus Swerve Strickland. I think Joe's getting a little bit older. Joe's still so good. But I think it's Swerve Strickland's turn. Swerve Strickland's going to win the belt. And then fuck. Finally, we're going to have Will Ospreay versus Brian Danielson in probably a wrestling classic match. Um, this match could go to a draw. And for me, AEW has way too, ti- way too many time limit draws. I'll say Will Ospreay wins. Brian Danielson's on the slide. And you know what? That's it for AEW Dynasty.